<laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Underverse here, and welcome to Sarvakia. Uh, it's a. It looks like a Swedish thing. Let let's. I'm not. I'm not gonna go there. Okay. I I tried saying it. I tried. I tried my best. But you know, Americans, we're <laughs> we're ignorant of everything that's not English. No. Um. I'll put a better translation there. You say it. AI voice spots call on. Oh, thank you, AI voice. That's so nice of you. Wow. Okay. So yeah, that's it. That's this game. That's what it's called. Um, it's an interactive experience. And I think there's not much that's gonna happen, but let let's get in. Let's do it. Oh, I'm that guy. Oh, looks like all. Uh, wait, hold on. <clears throat> looks like all my sheep came home for the winter except for Stravacula, as usual. This old telephone. Whoa. This. <laughs> This old telephone pole, nobody uses a landline anymore. Okay, so just when I walk into things, they, they start, I start talking down there. It's my shack. Keep it locked, because there's, there's, there's some boys in there. You don't want to know about that. There's some boys that, I, that I'm juicing up to get pregnant. <laughs> Sorry, I was making a reference to Trover. God, that game's insane. Um, I know that most, like, I know that, um, Justin Roiland, his humor is very, um, his humor is very distinct, and I know that most people or some people might not like it, but like, wow, that was the worst scene. If you know what I'm talking about, you've seen the scene where thing happens and there's babies and the babies are eaten. That's that's all I'm gonna say. Well, actually, that's like saying five percent of that game. <laughs> okay, anyways, let's continue. The drain pipe looks sturdy, but it's kind of loose. Wait, what? Oh, oh, now I'm inside. My trusty, rusty. Oh, crowbar. I got my crowbar. I can yank the pipe with the crowbar. The pipe has been saying better days, but maybe I can do something, use it for something? Oh, yeah. I can use it as a walking stick. Maybe I could unjam. I could have used the crowbar to open the, open this, can I? Hmm, yep. Oh, shit. Oh, it, it's weird. That's weird. Okay. Maybe I use it for this door? Question mark. Here's the key to the shack. Oh, guys, close your eyes. I don't want you to see what I've done in here. <laughs> okay, let's open it. Uh, did I drop the fucking key? God damn it. Hey, I can walk out. <laughs> oh, let's get back in there. God damn it. I thought I had the key, but I guess I dropped it. I guess I got butterfingers. Here's the key. Yeah, there you go. Oh no, it's just a big ass key. <laughs> oh, 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 that's adorable. Okay, let's open it up. Okay. The rungs of my ladder are crackling. I mean, the rungs of my ladder are crackling, but it's fine now. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, I gotta get Cervanculas over there. Ah, I see. Hang on, Cervanculia. I'm coming. Hey, little guy. Good firm soil up here. I should plant some trees next spring. I put the ladder down. Is this you, Cervanculia? It's Cervakia, lost in the highlands as usual. Let's get you down, my dear. Hang on. I'm going for the bump. Oh. Hmm. I don't think I could climb while carrying Cervakia. She's too care. Wait, hey, don't say that about her, okay? She's. <laughs> it's not her fault, man. So what am I gonna use the ladder for? Yeah, I. Mm. I don't know, Gabe. That that's some weird logic. I can walk up here with a ladder, but can't carry a small baby sheep. She's a ba she's a babe. She's not that big, heavy. Ooh, place the lamp. Place the ladder on the telephone pole. Oh yeah, mm, that's great. I missed <laughs> missed the puzzle completely. The wire used to connect us <laughs> to the town, but now we got 4G. Yeah, that's great. So did I knock it down? Maybe I can knock it down for some weird reason. Is the pipe still in here? Yeah. Why would I do this? This makes no sense. No. Okay. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, I was about to say what? What? That's weird. Hmm. What would I use a pipe for? I mean, I, I lay down pipe all the time, especially when your mom's home alone. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, oh, don't you worry about it. You know I do that all the time. Can I stick this up? Stick the pipe? Oh, oh man. Yeah, I'll stick it in the ground. The way I plant the pipe, it could survive a hurricane. Oh, I get you. I get you, my G. I get it. We're gonna like uh we're gonna like uh like lever her down. If this has rope on it, we'll lever her down or pull her down. My boat salvia bobbing on the waves. Why did I leave this bolt cutter on the boat? Well I'm glad I found it. 
shit, I'm going to cut down the telephone pole and, you know, probably get in trouble by the government. But, you know, that's okay. There's no government out here. We're in a post-apocalyptic society where everybody is also isolated because they're always texting on their phones. Man, I love those. Have you got, you seen those type of videos where, like, where, like, the people are like, oh, man, life would be so much better without the internet. <laughs> yeah, sure. Won't shock me. It's been disconnected. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, you're talking about the wire. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Oh. Yeah, just drag it through drag it through the house. Yep, that makes sense. Okay, there you go. Oh, so we're making like a zip line. Nice. Hmm. The way I plan okay. Come on, Sabranclua. I should clip Sabranclua to the zip line. There you go, honey. See you down there. Oh. <laughs> you go, girl. Nice. Now I ah. Oh. Oh, I feel so accomplished. No, I don't want to play. <laughs> it was made by someone in Iceland. I was right. Yeah. Or wait, wait. They're Norwegian, aren't they? Or something. There's something. I don't know what they are. Like, you're, you're all. <laughs> it's like it's like an incestuous family over there. <laughs> oh man, that's that's so messed up. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that was Sir. Say it again, AI voice. I'm not saying that. Hold on. Let's 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 do this. Let's learn. I'm about to learn. You're gonna learn. We're both gonna learn. We're gonna go to Google Translate, and we're gonna put that in. Bam. Norwegian. Hmm. <gasps> either either I'm cool. No, no. It can't be. Can't be. Am I right? <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> Spark. Sparts cola, <laughs> farts cola. <laughs> oh my god, this is terrible. I feel bad. Sparts cola, cola, Sparts cola. Oh god, hold on. I, I I'll get it. I'll get it. So guys, that was Sparts cola. Holy shit. Mm. Mwah. Mwah. Uh, Ashton, use that. Use that for the initial clip. Ooh. Baby, that was a masterpiece. Every time <laughs> in this video, I'm just gonna copy and paste that because that was that was a beautiful pronunciation. Anyways, guys, um, let, let me say this before I go into it, but this game was made in 72, 72 hours for the isolation game jam. I'm guessing the game, the isolation game jam is just about that. So one, this definitely ticks the box of the game jam, but I just wanted to say that with the time or with the fact that it was made for a game jam, I think this game is very impressive. Uh, the graphics on on one hand is very beautiful and stunning. It kind of reminds me of a storybook, which I like a lot. Um, the music and effects are pretty decent, even though, like for example, like the sheep in the beginning, you could tell. I'm pretty sure that was the creator. My only gripe about the game, and in the gameplay itself, was pretty you know there there's not a lot of thinking that you need to do like you can i think anybody could figure this out like literally i wasn't paying too much attention and that comes to the problem i have with this game i don't know if it's a let's player only kind of problem i think maybe if i don't if i wasn't doing a commentary over this game it'd be better but the fact that like every two meters or every two centimeters i walk into a new text box that says some new dialogue or some old dialogue really annoys me and it annoys me because it draws my attention away from whatever i'm doing like at that instant so let's say for example i'm i have the key in my hand maybe i maybe i'm gazing at the text box or i'm talking then i run over to a new text box like my my focus is obviously detracted and it's on a different rails than it was before prior to doing whatever i was doing before basically what i'm saying is it's very jarring and it's very to extent a little annoying i kind of wish there was an interaction button rather than text boxes being thrown in your face constantly but anything but that's that's my only gripe with the game so guys this was spot scala tell me what you think about spot scala in the comment section below i hope you guys enjoy i hope you have a wonderful day i love you guys sincerely and this was hunter here and i'll see you sexy later. Bye-bye.